At the beginning of this lecture video, I would like to show you the formula of the causes of the Second World War that I have shown to you last lesson. Firstly, we have to mention the First World War and then the Great Depression. These two major factors cause the rise of totalitarianism. And then, we would like to talk about the foreign expansion of three countries and also the related policy of other countries. Finally, it caused the outbreak of the First World War. Last lesson, we have talked about the First World War as well as the Great Depression. And now, today's focus will be the rise of totalitarianism and especially fascism of Italy. Today, our main focus will be the rise of totalitarianism. This topic is closely related to what we have learned. We have mentioned the end of the First World War, and there was a conference called Paris Peace Conference. Some country was not happy with the ending. That's why they want to change the current situation. On the other hand, there was the Great Depression. Most of the country, they suffer a lot. And people believe that a dictator can help change the situation. These two are the two major causes of the rise of totalitarianism. As usual, please do some highlighting for your textbook page 54. On this page, you can find the definition of totalitarianism and the reasons for the rise of this ideology. On the right-hand side of the PowerPoint, I try to show you two major features of this idea, especially focus on the first one. Internally, a totalitarian government emphasized on one party rule. For example, in Germany, the only ruling party would be Nazi party. It emphasized the total control of the country and the people. Usually, totalitarianism emphasized on foreign expansion. For example, let's use Germany as the example again. Germany hoped that they can gain more territory in Central Europe. Later, it occupied Austria, Czechoslovakia, and Poland. Another note for you to write down would be some example of totalitarian countries between the two world wars. The first one, fascism in Italy. The second one, Nazism in Germany militarism in Japan, and finally, communism in Soviet Union. In the coming two lessons, we are going to focus on fascism, Nazism, and militarism. Due to the time limit, we are going to focus on Italy only. The reason for us to talk about Italy first would be related to its timing. Because Italy was the first country that under the rule of totalitarianism. As early as 1919, there was the Paris Peace Conference. And then Italy failed to get all the demands. That's why 
that people lost confidence in their democratic government. They believe that their current government is useless. That's why they want to have a strong leader so that this leader can gain glory for the country and them. Who is this strong leader? It would be Mussolini and his party, Fast Party. Fascism and Fascist Party come from an Italian word. It would be Fascist. What is this thing? You can look at the picture here. It is actually a military flag. of the Roman Empire. The meaning of this item would be to revise the glory of ancient Roman Empire. And you can see that these are the wooden stick. All of them come together. It shows the unity of the people. To make it easy, maybe I can show you a triangle and it is a summary of what you should learn. Please look at this triangle. At the center, you can see a word, fascism. It is the ideology. Besides this word, you can find three angles. The first one, party, the second one, leader, and then the third one, symbol. What you should remember would be the party, the leader, and the symbols of fascism. What is the name of this party? It would be the fascist party. And then, who is the leader? Mussolini. And then the symbol of this ideology it would be the fascist. You can find a term FAS FAS and then FAS. All these are related to each other. So why did Mussolini establish a party called Fascist Party? It is related to the symbol Later, the historian called this ideology fascism. It is because Mussolini and fascist party was the first to introduce this idea to the world. So you can see the relationship between these three terms. I think this can help you to remember and remember the meanings and the spellings of these groups of words. The same triangle can be used in the coming two countries, Germany and Japan. Maybe I can show you the one of Germany. You can see another triangle but with blue color. Again, at the center the ideology, and then you can find party, leaders, and symbol. What you have to remember is to change the name of the party, the leader, and the symbol. So that's all for the three countries of totalitarianism. So this is the end of this lecture video, and in the coming one, we are going to focus on Germany and Japan.